Hello again. Today I'm going to be completing another prompt in 365 Days of Art using the mystery supplies in one of these scroller boxes. I get these boxes every time there's a sale on and have saved them up to do an art page with. I put a poll out asking which ones I should open and you voted for box number one and three is a second choice. So I'll randomly choose one of these. Thanks to everyone who voted. Welcome back to my channel, World Wanderer Art. If you're new here, I'm rediscovering my creative side again by attempting to complete 365 days of art in 2024 and by doing little art challenges like this as well. If that's something you're interested in seeing, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. I'm going to go and flip a coin to decide which box I'm opening. Heads is going to be box one and tails, which is Paddington Bear on this coin. It's going to be box three. Heads. So box number one is number 91 from Scroller Box and it is from March 2020. March 2023. So I paid around £8 a few months back for this. Whenever I see a sale on, I put a post in the community in case you wanted to have a look. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. artwork on this. It's really pretty. That's by Katrina Young. Really like that. And we've got a Bristol board sketch tile. Refreshers sour apple flavour, bit bendy. Best before, ah, oh, 31st of May. It's gonna have to go in the bin. Okay, so we've got Stadler pigment liner, 0.8. And we've got some Copics. I've never used these before. So alcohol markers, got a fine end, and then we've got a chisel tip. Yeah, so three different colours. And a Derwent Graphic 2H pencil. Okay, I'm just going to swatch out these supplies and see what they look like on paper. So yeah, we've got brick beige, mallow, mallow, and spectrum green. Let's see what the different tips are like. Nice little colour combination. Okay, looking at the scroller designs, I've never really used these before. I have found the best way to avoid streakers when using copies to colour in multiple directions. I find switching up the direction between layers works best. When I created the poll, I asked for some page numbers from you. So I'm gonna pick one now. I've got three left. So thanks for everyone who gave some page numbers. Let's go for this one. Two oh five. Okay, yeah, two oh five, add plants to the pots. Okay, I think I could probably do something with the Copix with that. I'm going to use this, uh, the Bristol board that came with it. So I'll just stick it in to be a square. Okay, so it won't quite go over. If I do that, then I can just bring in the pots there. Just draw where I want the pot to start. 
and then try and copy these. Okay, so I've drawn out very lightly where roughly the plant pots are. These bottom ones should line up and I'm just going to try and make them as close to what's in the prompt as possible using the Copic markers and then draw some plants. I'm going to see how the pencil works with the shading and do some outlines as well. So we're just going to see how I get on really. I'm a bit nervous on this one because I've not really used them before and I'm not going to get it like it is in the book. So I think we're just going to go for it. Do that. Just go over a few times. Make that darker. We want this bit to be much lighter. So I'm just gonna do that to just shade it. I'm trying to copy that one. This is why I like doing these challenges because you get some supplies and yeah, it makes you think, how am I gonna, how am I gonna do that? And I would never, when I woke up today, thought I'd be drawing these plant pots and putting plants in them with Copic markers. So it's just a nice surprise, something to look forward to. So let me know if you like to do little art challenges and what sort of art challenges do you like to set yourself? Probably shouldn't have gone round with the black, but it doesn't matter. Just going to add some shading in and then go over with the green. I think it works with the beige, picking up the pencil. It doesn't really, didn't really work with the green because it's darker. Okay, right now time to add the flowers. Let's try this purple out because we haven't really used that. I'm just going to be simple and make some purpley sort of leaves like that. Just do loads of those. And then I'll join them together. Let's just go around and do a couple of actual white flowers, so like this. We're going to use the beige and then put the green on top.
see if I can like blend a couple of colours. I use these two. They were just like really bushy ones. So I was thinking like this and mixing together. Do some outlines on the purple. I think I want to do run in one. We will go over a couple just to add a bit of shade. Just circle some of these berries. I like making this type of video because it challenges you to think about how you're going to use the supplies and also think about how you're going to do the prompt and gets me using something different rather than the colour pencils and the neo colours that I usually use. So let me know if you like creating little challenges when you do your art. I'll link the other Scrawler Box supplies playlist in the comments if you haven't seen them yet. There are some good creations and some bad ones. So have a look if you've got five minutes to spare. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you did and there'll be another Scrawler Box video coming soon. We'll see you all in the next one.